fresh from boarding school, going out into, you know, on the casting couch, I was definitely objectified to an extreme. I think it's unfair to like throw four pieces of paper at somebody and be like, just pull your panties down and bend over and the role is yours. This is what actresses hear every day. It may be the 21st century, but it's become painfully apparent that nearly every female actor in Hollywood has experienced some degree of sexism, harassment, body shaming, or sexual assault during their time in the industry. However, while we're all too aware of the gender pay gap and the lack of opportunities for women in Hollywood, misogyny is even more dangerously prevalent behind closed doors. We're talking, of course, about the infamous Hollywood casting couch. We can only applaud them for speaking out and hope that their bravery leads to change. So here, the, the actors who bravely come and shared what happened to them. First is our list is none other than Megan Fox. Megan Fox was removed from the Transformers franchise because of some altercation between the director and his team. But what really happened to this feisty girl to bite her benefactors? In an interview, she unraveled that during her audition, she already noticed some red flags. The starlet was instructed to wash the sports car of director Michael Bay while he filmed her, whether for pleasure or work, we'll never know. A reporter urged the director to release the tape and clarify this issue, but he shrugged off the request as if he seemed to have lost it. Another time, Megan was forced to wear tiny outfits in parade in front of her co-stars, including Ramon Rodriguez and Shia LaBeouf. She had to endure the humiliation of wearing a belly shirt and tiny shorts for five grueling long hours. It might have been really tough for her, but she still came out of it. Next up, Thandie Newton. You know, it's on our watch. We need to, we need to literally be keeping watch. Um, and then we will, you know, we will arrest this problem. In an interview with W Magazine, the actress told how she unwittingly fell prey to the creepy requests of an unnamed director during an audition. A director on a callback had a camera shooting up my skirt and asked me to touch my tits and think about the guy making love to me in the scene. I thought, okay, this is a little weird, but there was a female casting director in the room and I'd done weird stuff before, so I did it. She recalled how years later she discovered something even more disturbing after a producer approached her at a film festival and told her drunkenly, Oh, Thandie, I've seen you recently before lurching away with apparent embarrassment. Thandie's husband approached the man to find out what he meant. It turns out that the director was showing that audition tape to his friends after poker games at his house, and they would all get off on it. Despite the tough times, Thandie Newton's bravery really shines. She faced exploitation head on and came out stronger. Her strength shows just how powerful the human spirit can be. I'm the director who I'd seen previously and the casting um, director who was a woman. And the director asked me to sit with my legs apart. Um, the camera was was right between, you know, positioned where it could see up my skirt. To put my leg over the the um, the arm of the of the chair, and before I started my dialogue, think about the character that I was supposed to be having. The next is Brie Larson. Brie Larson, who was set to zoom into cinemas as Captain Marvel next year, recently told Net A Quarters the edit that she finds it difficult to get to grips with female sexuality, especially since so much of it is determined by the male gaze. She said, female sexuality was confusing for me. I went to auditions where they wanted a sassy, smart, sexy girl. During her early auditions, the executives would look only for sassy and sexy young girls. The serious actress would come in comfy clothes, yet she was told to come back in mini skirts. Even if she has what it takes, her sneakers blew off her auditions. Brie Larson discovered that in her industry, some look upon women as mere pleasant objects. Susan Sarandon. Susan Sarandon opened up to Elle in 2012 about a horrifying casting couch experience she had early in her career, which saw her physically assaulted by a director. I just went into a room and a guy practically threw me on the desk, she said. It was my early days in New York and it was really disgusting. It wasn't like I gave it a second thought, it was so badly done. Emmy Rossum. Speaking to The Hollywood Reporter, Rossum explained that she has been asked to audition in a bikini just so directors can see her body. Even as recently as a year ago, my agent called me and was like, I'm so embarrassed to make this call, but there's a big movie and they're going to offer it to you. She said they really love your work on the show, but the director wants you to come into his office in a bikini. There's no audition. That's all you have to do. Rossum said he wanted to know if I was fat now. That was basically the question. And I actually had this moment like, well, how good is the part for a second? I was like, would I do it? Send me the script, maybe the characters in a bikini in the movie. But nope, not in a bikini in the movie. Not make it in the movie. We really love your work, but we just want to see how tight your ass is. Are you fucking kidding me? Last time I checked, I'm not a fucking model. Lena Hetty. 
Game of Thrones star Lena Headey says young women auditioning for roles face intense pressure to be beautiful and skinny as male directors speculate over who they want to have sex with. But speaking to her co-star Maisie Williams, aka Arya Stark, in a new interview for Netta Porter's magazine The Edit, Headey says, when I was in my 20s and doing a lot of audition tapes in the States, a casting director told me the men take these tapes home and watch them and say, who would you fuck? The star says she refused to play the game of going into auditions and flirting and is very happy to have lost out on roles as a result. Gwyneth Paltrow. During an interview with Elle in 2010, Gwyneth Paltrow revealed that she received an indecent proposition during one of her earliest auditions. But to her dismay, the casting officer had an unwarranted request. He wanted to finish the rest in the bedroom. Of course, our intelligent blonde would not fall for it. So she left, still pretty shocked, but she also worried about others in the industry who didn't know any better. She said that I left. I was pretty shocked. I could see how someone who didn't know better might worry my career will be ruined if I don't give this guy a blowjob. Last in our list is Jennifer Lawrence. Yep, you heard that right. The highest paid young star also paid back what she owed. But was it truly worth it? In an interview with Harper's Bazaar magazine, the superstar admitted that she hated body shaming in the industry. Jennifer Lawrence told Harper's Bazaar that she was called fat during an audition once. If somebody told me I was fat, that I was going to get fired if I didn't lose a certain amount of weight, she recalled. They brought in pictures of me where I was basically naked and told me to use them as motivation for my diet. Nowadays though, the actor knows exactly what to say to body shamers. The actress shared with Elle magazine that at 16, she felt trapped for being assaulted by agents and producers who made her feel that she had no voice as an unknown actress. As soon as she reached the star, she carried the torch of her truth in public to free her from their shackles. So that's it for today, everyone. Hearing these actresses' stories is a reminder of the tough stuff they've been through, but it's also amazing to see their strength. It's sad that they had to go through so much unfair treatment in Hollywood, but by speaking up, they're making things better for themselves and others. Let's take a moment to think about their bravery and show them our support. Share which story you found most surprising in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more interesting stuff. Until next time, let's keep learning and supporting each other. See you soon.